A lot of patients, when they come to our office, they say, Dr. Harris, why did I get a hernia and what is it? It's a great question. An abdominal wall hernia is simply a hole or a defect in the muscle of the anterior abdominal wall. Through that small hole, either fat or sometimes intestine can push through. These can be located commonly within the groins or in the abdomen region around the belly button. Once that hole has formed, again, the intestine and the fat pushes through and often you get symptoms from that hernia. Hernias tend to form over a period of time. It's often not just one thing, one day that caused a hernia. It's usually a weakening of the muscle that happens over the course of weeks, months, and usually even years. If you have a predisposition to developing a hernia, it's probably been something that's developing for many, many months and years. Once you lift something or you're in the middle of a sporting activity and you notice that bulge form, usually that's just the last step in a longer process of that hernia developing. The muscles around the hernia are usually weakened and eventually that hole forms. So it's not just the hole in the muscle, it's also that the muscle around the hole has been weakened over time. But we do know that hernias are hereditary, meaning that if your father, your grandfather, your brothers, your uncles, or your aunts and sisters have abdominal wall hernias, you're more apt to get a hernia yourself. We also know that patients with chronic coughs from COPD or from smokers can often have an increased risk of hernia because of the additional increased pressure that you form during a cough. We also see patients that are obese with that extra weight and that extra strain on the abdominal wall. Obese patients tend to get hernias more frequently as well. Patients who are constipated consistently have to push and strain to use the bathroom. Again, increase their abdominal pressure and the strains on the muscles. Being a male is also a risk for developing an abdominal wall hernia, mainly because in men, in the groin regions, the arteries, the veins, and the vas deferens, which travels from the testicle inside, creates a small hole in the muscle. That hole is normal and is there in every man, and over time, sometimes that hole can weaken and stretch, which allows a hernia to form. So chronic cough, constipation, smokers, obesity, being a male are all risk factors for developing a hernia. People ask, what's my chance of developing a hernia? It's approximately a 25% chance for a man to develop a hernia during his life. For a woman, because the artery and veins don't go through the abdominal wall, their risk is much lower at approximately two to 3%. Just because you've had one abdominal wall hernia doesn't specifically make you more at risk for an additional hernia, but you still have probably a 25% chance of developing a second hernia sometime down the road. Hernias can form at any age of life. Even infants who are just born can have abdominal wall hernias all the way up to the later years in life. An age is not a specific indicator of getting an abdominal wall hernia because it can range all the way from teenage years up until later years of life. As we'll discuss in the video about having surgery and the use of mesh, reinforcing that muscle with mesh is extremely important because of the fact that it's not just that one hole that is causing the hernia, it's the surrounding muscle that's weakened. 